feel strong, there's two parts. First part, we're gonna work an ab, okay? And then second part, we're gonna work savage. Okay, just one dumbbell or one kettlebell that you've got. Okay, so 30 seconds, side plank, okay? And then try to keep your balance, or to your elbows, keeping your balance nice and straight, no sagging, okay? We're trying to work on that, okay? So if you're not in a short, okay, oh, that's it, contracting it. Okay, fighting it up. Okay. 30 seconds per side. Then I'm gonna go on V up or V touch. Okay, the first skill is this. Okay, up and V. I can push it with my arms to the sky. Up. Up, no rush, up, up. I can then go to a V up, okay, up, 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 up. The quality of your V up is based on two elements. The first element, and it's an easy one to, uh, to understand, is the leg being straight. Okay, so if I go here and tuck, you see the legs are broken, okay, that's the tuck, okay, here the legs are a little bit less broken, and here the legs are not broken, so up, up, okay, that simulate the leg being straight to reach my toe to bars, okay. The second aspect of the quality of your V-up is your hold position. So when you're in the floor, you need to be in a hold position. The same as when you hang from the bar, okay? So the hold position is as such, okay? So you see, here, I've got my chest above the floor, okay? Big contraction here, that's my whole position, all right? So you're gonna have like, that part of the body is gonna be in contact with the floor, okay? And the rest is gonna be up, okay? Big effort to keep that um, torso, okay? Off the floor. Okay, that's for our quality work. Three rounds of that. Then we've got three rounds, okay, of 21 reps. So ideally, it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So um, we're gonna start with dumbbell squat snatch. Okay, so that is a tough movement. Okay, you might want to consider first how heavy you're gonna go for that movement. Okay, especially if you've got poor mobility, okay, try to have a think, maybe doing a snatch, then an overhead squat. Okay, so the full movement, okay, dumbbell start on the floor, back is straight, go. And stand. And then a shift hand straight away, up, and stand. Okay, if I need a little bit of time to get into that overhead squat position, I'm gonna look at doing a full snatch, muscle snatch, followed by an overhead squat. Okay, changing hand, muscle snatch, then overhead squat. Okay. <laughs> if you can't overhead squat, okay, maybe change that movement for a snatch followed by a front squat. Okay. Snatch, 
from squats. Okay. Yeah. Snatch. From squats. Stand. Okay. If your weight is too heavy to snatch it, clean. Squat. All right. Good. Same thing for the kettlebell. Okay. If the balance for a squat snatch is not possible, look at incorporating your squat in that stage. All right. That's for our first movement. Second movement, we're staying overhead. Okay, and we're gonna go for a set of overhead dumbbell lunges. So I'm gonna have a big step, okay? Then I'm gonna push back on the spot. Stand, push back. You might find, well, the kettlebell doesn't want, or the, the, the weight doesn't want to come back, okay? Especially if you're a little bit forward, okay, you're gonna feel that's what you're gonna do. Okay, in that case, change the lunge, okay, either for a reverse lunge, okay, or for a walking lunge. Alright, hope you're trying that, okay, as I'm explaining it to you. And um, just pause, have a go with your kettlebell or dumbbell. Try to appreciate like that lean stepping forward, okay? If you've got poor um, shoulder mobility, you're not going to be able to like send the weight back without twisting your back. And you're going to want to step forward consistently or you're going to only go there on a reverse lunge. All right, and the last movement is your push-up, okay, on the dumbbell, okay. Same if you've got a kettlebell, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to hold the kettlebell. This kettlebell is a little bit wobbly, isn't it? Okay, so just be careful when you're doing that. Okay, if it's too tough, go to your knees or go to the diamond push ups. Okay, knee, okay, or diamond push up. Yes, working okay, narrow hands. All right, so yeah, it's uh, gonna be a tough session. I'm already sweating, just demonstrating loose movement for you. Any question, call me, okay? Watch this video again while you're warming up with the weight and you're playing a little bit with the dumbbell that you've got at home, okay? If you need anything, just give me a shout. Meanwhile, I'll see you tomorrow. Be strong, have a good workout. Be badass.